That's your recording now. Thank you. Thank you very much, Leona. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to the meeting of local review body. I'm Councillor Annette Ireland. I'm chair of the local review body. I'd like to welcome members here, elected members here today, and also introduce uh, the officers in attendance. Uh, Mr. Paul O'Neill is the clerk to the local review body and will be getting fed up of me today saying thank you very much for everything. He's retiring after this meeting. It's your last last meeting. Um, I know we made a fussy year in the class, but I thought it was worth making another fuss of them here. Um, so we also have Mr. Matt Greenan as the independent planning advisor to the local review body. He has had no involvement in the processing of any of the planning applications which are subject to review before us today. And Ms. Siobhan Wilson is the legal advisor and is responsible for preparing the local review body's decision notices and to provide advice as necessary. So before us today, uh, we have reviewed 202101, the erection of one and a half storey rear extension and the erection of a front dormer, including raising the ridge line and full re-roofing of dwelling at 14 Dorian Drive, Clarkston. Uh, do Chair, we just have a, a, yes, Chair, oh. just a couple of preliminaries. Uh, uh, Councillor Swift and Con Andre have intimated their apologies. Thank you. And uh, declarations of interest? Nope. None. Okay. Thank you very much. With this review, do we have enough information before us to make a decision here today? Okay. Thank you very much. Can I turn over to yourself, Matt, please? Thank you, Chair. Appreciate that. Um, we have one case uh, before us today, uh, members, it's review 21 Public 01, and this is in relation to planning application 2020 Public 0555 at 14 Dorian Drive in Clarkston. Proposal for erection of one and a half storey rear extension, erection of front dormer, including raising the ridge line and full reopening of dwellings. There's no new information um, associated with this um, appeal. Um, the proposal um, site comprises a detached pit roof bungalow um, and these are shown on agenda papers 41 to 54, um, the plans. Um, the collation plan has been um, issued separately um, at the end of your papers. The site comprises a detached hip roof bungalow and its associated cartilage. It is externally finished in sandstone, dry dash render, and you can see windows and slates. The rear garden is enclosed by a mixture of tall shrubbery, hedging, and closed border timber um, fencing. There's a raised railway embankment directly to the rear of the property, and the Clarkson Fire Station is directly in front of the property. Um, and the area is surrounded predominantly in, in residential in nature and characterised by similar style bungalows, predominantly hip roof bungalows. However, there are also examples of gable style extensions in the street. Um, the proposal raises the roof height by approximately 0.5 metres by erecting a one and a half storey rear extension together with installation of a front dormer window. Raising of the roof ridge enables the proposed front dormer to incorporate a pitch um, which is below the, the ridge line of the new roof. This is in relation to the, the front dormer window. In relation to the rear, the rear extension will be a width of the dwelling and project outward by approximately three metres from the existing principal elevation, um, forming one continuous straight rear elevation with a pitched gable end. Um, Proposed finishes include render, rough cast, um, UBC windows, and a five frame folding uh, door, concrete tiles. It might be um, useful to show um, some plans, um, Leona, if, if you don't mind. Um, possibly um, the location plan for the start, to the context of it. So you can see where I've just described there, the, the railway line is to the rear. Um, of the outline site in red, and the gas station at the front, and the detached 
properties on either side. Thank you, Mona. Um, on page 42 of your papers, you have the existing front elevation. And Leon has kind of put that up on the screen for you as well. You see a, a typical um, uh, bungalow, um, detached bungalow. On page 49, you see the proposed front elevation of how that has changed. So essentially, that's raising the roof slightly um, by 0.4 and incorporation of a front dormer window, which is uh, pitched um, and below the, the ridge line of the, of the new roof. On page 44 of the is the existing side elevation one. Uh, you can see the side elevation there of the, the two side windows and uh, there is a, a well established um, rear elevation side back elevation rather um, uh, to the rear of the property. Page 51 as the proposed side elevation. Thank you, Leona. On page 52, and you can see from that the, the, the change um, right along the back. It's a straight um, gable end to the rear of the property at the back, which travels from front to back. And you can see that the, the uh, dormer window is below the, the new ridge line. Thanks, Leona. And page 43 has the existing rear elevation. See a, a typical standard bungalow outline there. And the last of the plans is on page 50. Um, thanks, Leona. Which shows the, um, the pitch um, travelling all the way up to the rear with a gable end at the rear and a sort of five pane um, sliding doors at the at the rear. Um, thanks, Lauren, I appreciate that. Um, with, with regards to representations, there are no representations received with this application. Um, in relation to the, the, the planning officer's decision, um, the application was refused and the report handling and the decision notice were on page just 17 to 28 of your papers. Um, the basic outline is set out on the uh, planning officer's report uh, and the proposal must be assessed against the policies D1 and D14 of the adopted local plan and supplementary planning guidance. The SPG contains specific criteria for extensions the bungalows, which should have a lower ridge line and not form a gable end. Dormer windows should not dominate the roof and should sit within the existing roof plane. The proposal must not have an adverse effect on the residential community or area and unreasonably restrict sunlighting and privacy. The extension was considered contrary to policy as it would form a gable end and raise the ridge or height of the dwelling. The dormer window is contrary to policy principally because it's dependent on raising the ridge line and is not set in the existing roof plane. It is considered that both the extension and the dormer window would dominate and overwhelm the dwelling. Therefore, in combination, it was considered um, that the proposal would have a detrimental impact on the appearance of the area. Um, the officer's report acknowledged that there were some examples of gable end extensions in the street. However, it was not considered that such developments were numerous enough to define the character of Victorian Drive and not be used as justification to, for, for the development um, as it was contrary to the adopted policy. Um, it was not considered the extension would raise any significant issues in terms of road or shadowing because of the size and orientation of the property and there were no concerns regarding overlooking etc on the site. In conclusion, the, the proposal was thought to be significantly out of scale and character with the, the dwelling and dominate the form of Dorian Drive. And there wasn't such a sufficient precedent of large scale alterations and extensions in the area to warrant setting aside the adoptive plan. And for that reason, 
the uh, application was refused. Um, in relation to the grounds for appeal by the applicant, um, the applicant's case is contained in the Notice of Review and Statement of Reasons on page 29 to 35 of your papers, together with a supporting statement on page 37 to 38 of your papers. The supporting statement outlined the proposals for one half to rear gable end and provides an extensive listing of a series of presidents which are gable end extensions both within the locality and further afield. The listing contains a combination of gable end extensions with examples of raised uh, roof ridge heights, both um, uh, direct delegated planning officer decisions and overturned LRB decisions. Um, also cited as a recent LRB overturned planning decision in August 2020, referred to at uh, 52 Milford Avenue and 32 Dorian Drive, very similar applications, raising the roof and forming gable end. The railway line was also to rear these properties and cited as a material consideration allowing these appeals. And the, the applicant considered that as a compelling case to uh, approve the application. In relation to 32 Dorian Drive, the decision then and also incorporated a, a four metre wide front facing dormer, uh, which was not hipped, whereas this proposal um, is below the justice line and is, and is hipped. Um, the uh, appellant's conclusion being that there are numerous recent examples similar to this proposal uh, which have been given consent and which form the existing character of the area and consider that the proposal did not uh, impinge on privacy or sunlighting or, or anything of that nature. In conclusion, I would remind the members to assess the proposal against the development plan and other material considerations. Um, conclusion of the Thank you very much, Matt. Thank, thank, you. Thank, thank you. Can I open it out to the committee, Councillor Miller? Thanks once again, Chair. <clears throat> uh, I find it incredible that uh, we're having to make a decision in this one because, well, there's no no comments. As, as Matt said, there's there's a, a no overlooking, no overshadowing, uh, and not only that, it's was it just last year, the year before, well. Maybe two years ago, <clears throat> we went out to number 32, which is only 16 houses further up, which was actually bigger than what we're, we're, we're uh, considering here. Uh, as the, the, the appeal said, they didn't have a hip roof, whereas this is a hip dormer. So, you know, it's, it's backing onto the railway. Nobody's bothered. The neighbours are not bothered. There's really, when you look at the, the, the uh, look at it from the front elevation, it's slightly different. It's okay. It's it's up by a few inches, but it's not really that different from the rest of the streetscape. So I I don't see why we could refuse this. And if we're being consistent at all, we cannot refuse this. Thank you very thank thank you very much, Councillor Miller, Councillor McLean. Yeah, that's yeah. just exactly sorry, Chair. That's just exactly what I was going to say. I mean, having looked at this and looked at the, you know, some some of the other houses, even from a roof, from a satellite looking down, there are some fairly hefty extensions within Dorian Drive. There's what number two is absolutely huge. It's a massive extension and it does include a gable extension. And there is other uh, examples of that going up Dorian Drive. So I quite agree with Councillor Miller. I'm not quite sure how this can be refused when there are several, if not quite a lot, of extensions very similar within the same street. Thank you very, thank you very much, yeah, Councillor yeah. McLean. Councillor Cunningham, are you wishing to come in? Yeah, I agree with my two previous colleagues what they had to say about it. I think we've been up that street quite a few times, and it is with practically everyone is getting the same type of expenses. So I need to thank Mel, I think Councillor McLean, right, and I, I think we should get it. Thank you very much, Councillor Cunningham. <laughs> Councillor Fletcher. Yeah, I mean, I've got kind of mixed views in this a wee bit because, um, you know, I'm one of the ones that complains when we're turning down applications when you look about and there's so many others elsewhere. I mean, clearly, 
the architect or the agent has gone to quite a number of streets to find very similar extensions. So I guess we have to just um, take that point. Um, the only point in Dorian, there's, there's not actually that many on Dorian, I don't think. Um, and I'm sure we did grant one in the basis of the, you know, the railway line and all the rest of it at the back. But we've pretty much um, opened it out. You know, for granting us, I think you'll have more coming in in Dorian and other areas. So um, the only thing I think we need to take a wee bit of care about is if we're granting this, we're probably granting them all, if you know what I mean. So maybe our policies need to change and what we're doing with these um, types of applications, because I just think we've got a, we're at the point of really just opening the floodgates. Clearly, all these agents are going to come forward with applications, quoting all the other streets in the area. And maybe uh, if we're minded to grant this, the planners really need to go away and perhaps rethink the policy, frankly. Um, otherwise, you're you're going to be faced with this dilemma time and time again. On that point, I promised, um, we discussed this at a previous meeting, I think it came up and it would have been another um, gable end or uh, the, the ridge height ridge being raised slightly or not set down. It was all supplementary planning guidance. I have asked for an update on where the planning department are with looking at that. Um, obviously, it's it's been held up um, quite a bit with COVID and that they're having to deal with the applications just now but I've been assured that it is still being looked at and I have asked for an update as soon as I have anything I'll get it on to you because it is these things that keep coming up time and time again. I take it you're talking, sorry, uh, take it you're talking about that meeting I had in yes. when? Sorry. Yes. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Because it's no, no, it's not been. I did chase it up after because I think it, it came up and the um, local review body were mind that they wanted to know what was happening with it. So I have chased up on it and um, I'm awaiting a response. So I have the response I've had so far is it is being it is still being looked at, but I'm awaiting an official response on it. But I will get back to you as soon as I have anything. Um, I'm, I'm in agreement that I, yes we've been here before what can i say i'm 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 probably minded that we do not accept the recommendation to refuse but um i wondered if i had a seconder to that i'll thank you thank you Councillor cunningham unless anyone is otherwise minded no. just, uh, just for a clarification chair uh, the local review body is moving what? We are moving that we do not accept the recommendation to refuse and that planning is granted. Right, so two overturned. Two overturned. Yes. Uh, two overturned the decision is set out in the decision notice of 8th February. And grant yes. plan permission. Yes. Uh, on, that, on that basis, uh, if I could turn to Matt uh, just to see if uh, he would be of a mind to attach any conditions? No, no, there, there was uh, uh, the materials and all the different types of specifications are, are laid out in the plan. Right? OK, so that's fine. Right. recommend any conditions as such. That's great. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you, everyone, for your time. And Paul, yet again, thank you all. Thank you for all the help you've given to the local review body. OK, thanks very much. Thank you.